The first humanoid robot in the history of Africa is presented at an exhibition in Tunis as part of the International Competition Space Apps Challenge organized by NASA, which was attended by more than 100 countries of the world. The development was carried out by Tunisian scientists together with the international company Synapse, specializing in the field of its technologies. According to the creators, their invention is able to replace a person in performing various dangerous tasks. It is equipped with cameras, an obstacle detection system, and remote control, which can be carried out both using a computer and using Android-based devices. According to Nasor Shafrud, an employee of the Synapse company, all components and components of the robot are made using a 3D printer, which means that, if necessary, the product can be made of any size. Such machines, in his opinion, are designed to replace humans in space flights in the future. The invention can be offered to the Ministry of Internal Affairs for use in the field of security, as well as to various research institutes and laboratories for conducting applied research. A Nigerian engineer from Unicon Corporation managed to create the world's first humanoid, dark-skinned human. It is known that the android is named Mephi, the two-meter, tall black girl is equipped with special sensors that are able to recognize speech in several languages and dialects, English, French, Pidgin, Yoruba, Arabic, Swahili, Hausas, Igbo, and Afrika, Swahili, Hausas, Igbo, and Afrika, and not only understand his interlocutor, but also maintain a dialogue with him about African culture, history, and economy. The head of the Unicon group of companies, Chax Ikume, noted that at the moment, Africa does not have a significant place in the world of technology since local developers do not have the capabilities that Chinese engineers have, for example. But their new development will certainly give rise to a successful path of African science. This intelligent humanoid robot created in 2010 is a copy of Bina Rotblat, and not only externally, the memories, views, and feelings of a woman are loaded into the brain of the anthropomorphic mechanism. The real Bina taught the smart machine to speak and move in her style, as well as mimic facial expressions. Android is able to maintain a conversation, including on complex philosophical topics, and even joke it took more than 100 hours for Bina to upload her identity. At the same time, Bina 48 is able to learn. His vocabulary and knowledge are updated with each new conversation. Perhaps in the future, the tradition of placing the identity of a deceased person in a robot will become commonplace. But for this, it is first necessary to deal with the moral and ethical side of the issue. Developed by researchers at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, Nadine is a social robot that integrates artificial intelligence systems and ultra-realistic physical features to achieve the best effect. Nadine uses natural hand gestures and head movements during conversation, and her mouth moves in time with her conversation, though not very well. It is a great example of how artificial intelligence and robotics can do something completely human together. Modeled after the director of the department, Nadia Magnanat Thalman, Nadine smiles when she is greeted and looks people in the eye during conversations with her. Remarkably, she uses facial recognition software to remember people she has met and even remember people she has met and even remembers previous conversations. Nadine can be happy or sad depending on what has been said and demonstrate her own traits and emotions. Nadine runs on software like Apple Sarai or like Apple Sarai or Microsoft's Cortana and will eventually be used as a personal assistant at home or in the office. The digital trickster, which the researchers named iCube, is a humanoid robot the size of a child. 
It was created by employees of the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa to study social interactions between humans and robots. An advanced android with a height of 1.1 m has a humanoid face and camera eyes that maintain eye contact with people. He also has 53 behaviors that allow him to perform complex tasks and imitate the behavior of ordinary people. Researchers can program iCoop to behave in a surprisingly human way. In 2016, his abilities were already demonstrated at the show Italy is Looking for Talents. The robot performed Tai Chi movements and impressed the judges with its clever conversational skills. In a new study, Engineers programmed iCube to interact with human participants while watching a series of short videos. During some experiments, iCube was programmed to behave like a human being, greet participants when they entered the room, and respond to the video with vocalizations of joy, surprise, and awe. But in other tests, the robot's program made it behave more like a machine ignoring nearby people and making stereotypical beeps with mechanical notes. In the first series of experiments, IQ was programmed to greet human participants, introduce themselves and ask their names when they entered. During these interactions, the robot moved the eyes of its camera to maintain eye contact with human subjects. Throughout the entire process of watching the video, he continued to behave like a human being, reacting to the picture like people. He laughed when there was a funny scene in the film or behaved as if he was delighted with a beautiful visual scene, the researchers noted. In the second series of experiments, IQ did not interact with the participants. And while watching the video, his only reaction to the scenes was to make mechanical sounds including beeping. During these experiments, the cameras in the iCube's eyes were also turned off, so the robot could not maintain eye contact. Before and after watching several short videos with animals, the researchers tested the opinion of 41 human participants about the state of consciousness of iCube using a short test. The researchers formulated the questions and possible answers so that the participants expressed an opinion iCube iCube acts on a whim or instruction. Those of the experiment participants who interacted with the fun version of iCube said that the bot reacts to videos and people the way it wants. People who interacted with the unfriendly version and then with the cheerful one also believed that the robot has its own behavior which it consciously chooses. One of the main conclusions that scientists have made is that people are more willing to contact those robots that behave like humans. Thanks for watching. Put likes and subscribe to the channel.